Kumuhula, Patrick Makuakane, and Nale Hulu Ikave Q return to the Hawaii Theater for two performances of their new show, Imua Hula in U Unusual Places. Kumu joins us now with all the details. Thank you for being hey, with us. Hello. Appreciate hey, it. Uh, this is awesome. Um, tell me about the show because uh, you're, it's, it's, it's new and it's in unusual places. Right. Well, you know, we're a hala in San Francisco, so first of all, that's an unusual place to be <laughs> dancing hula, but it has become usual over the past 30 years. But it gives us an opportunity to perform at many unusual places, such as the San Francisco Opera House mm -hmm. and at Burning Man, which a lot of people, I mean, how do you even describe what Burning Man is? I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's this experience out in the middle of the desert with 70,000 people. The artistry is unbelievable and the community is just absolutely... Um, the best of crazy, radical self-expression. Is that what we're seeing here now? That's what we're seeing now. We're in front at of the Burning Man. At Burning Man, right. Wow. And so we performed for whoever happened to be riding their bike around that moment. <laughs> it was not a performance that was listed. Um, so it was just our gift to the community. Um, I, I understand that you also did something with the San Quentin State Prison. Tell me about that. Yes, I am the resident Kumu Hula at San Quentin State Prison. Actually, my official title is the spiritual advisor for the Native Hawaiian Religious Spiritual Group. And I don't teach class. What I do is conduct service. Mm. So I luxuriate in that irony. And the guys are really great, engaged, um, a bit rambunctious, but um, very interested in what we're learning. I want to get back to, uh, to the Burning Man because you guys have been to New York, you've been, you're in San Francisco. What is it like to take hula dancers, a number of them, 30 in, in fact, to all these different places including the Burning Man? Well, here's what I've noticed about hula. Hula has a way of making itself at home no matter where it is. It's one of the most engaging forms of art. People seem to really respond to it. So no matter how unusual of a place that we've perform that, people really feel connected to what we do, and that's such a great experience. Tell me about the Lindy Hop Hula part of your show. Well, we are closing our show with one of the most amazing Hawaiian jazz bands ever, and that is Kahula Nui. And because of their sort of swing Hawaiian jazz music, we also do a little Lindy Hopping, which is swing, kind, swing dancing along with Hula, and it has been one of the most fun, silliest, craziest experiences of our halal to become Lindy dancers mm -hmm. as well as hula dancers. Yeah, I think that's amazing. And if, you're, if uh, somebody's out there that's interested as much as we are, and that's why you're here on the show, uh, let everybody know about the show because it is Imua Hula and in, in Unusual Places at the Hawaii Theater. Uh, it's tonight? It's tomorrow? Tonight and tomorrow. Oh, Times. my God, it is tonight. It's 7.30 at both nights, tonight and tomorrow, and it's going to be a very unusual show. <laughs> and there you see ticket info, forty dollars to uh, to a hundred dollars. Very, that's very reasonable for for shows like this because it is uh, entertaining. Uh, and it's taking us a long time to make this show come together, so we're really thrilled about being here. Kumu, thank you so much for being Mahalo here. Mahalo for us. having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, hui ho. Have a great weekend. Thank and you so happy much. Happy Easter. Hey, happy Easter. <laughs> we're gonna wrap things up when we come back. Tell you what we have in store for you on Monday.